If you want to send me to the boneyard, you should try yourself. I'm gonna break you, Kruger. Better hurry. Good afternoon, my friends. As you listen to this tape, Remember that this is our big score. 
we do this right and we will all retire. Each one of you will have the opportunity to use your special skills. As usual, everything has been carefully planned. Do not be concerned about the escape route. I have a little surprise in mind. Good luck. I know you won't let me down. Soon we will be back together. all day. Yeah, what's your problem? Hey, McNeil, you gonna hold his hand? <laughs> Fuel pump on these units is a little touchy. Try it now. This guy knows so much. What's he doing here? Hey, you want to try mine? I don't think so. He's at. What are you going to do? Shave your legs with that thing? <laughs> or yours? Hey, my money's on her. License and registration, please. Well, what seems to be the problem, officer? You got a brake light out. Oh, geez. You know, I'm really sorry. My regular truck's back getting fixed. All right. I want you go with a warning this time. Make sure your company takes care of the problem. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you. I'm on my way back in there right now. Take it slow. Be safe. This road doesn't go to Long Beach. Hold it! Thanks for the warning. Be sure to warn a vest. <laughs>
Martinson. Bob McNeil, please. Alec? Lynn? Hey, how's it going? It's fine. <laughs> Hang on a second, I'll get your dad. Don't be a stranger, OK? Yeah, OK, thanks. Pressure seems good on number four. Bob McNeil? Bob McNeil, phone call. It's Alec. Hey. The trout of Lake Kachuma are jumping in the boats. Is that right? Sounds great. I could use a little time on the lake. These double shifts are killing me. You say the word, Pop. Listen, I'll tell you what. You're on. Saturday, 5.30. Meet you at the lake. I'll fly the Cessna up. Oh, by the way, Alec, I just heard a management position open up at our corporate office. Now, listen, if you're interested, I'll uh, talk to Bill Fuller about it. Oh, forget it. We went through this before. Now, yeah, sooner or later, you're going to have to put this thing behind you, son. Come on, Alec. Loose it up. Yeah. Uh, I'll see you at the lake on Saturday, Pop. I'm looking forward to it. Bye, son. Take care of it. Tell Lynn to meet me there. Bob, the pressure's rising and I can't seem to stop it. You said the flow regulator on this unit was taken care of. Repair signed off on it this morning. Another five degrees in. Oh. All right, get repair back up here now. I just do it. Short thing, Mr. McNeil. Communication secured. Set, move it. Go to the right. Set, move.
sure it's welded tight. Someone just shot Pete. Yeah, hi, uh, this is uh, Martinson. I'm just... What is your emergency? Sir? Hello? Sir? This is 911. Anybody make a move in your history? You got that? I'll set the charges in grid two. We're in. You gonna tell me what the hell you want? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Mr. McNeil. We know all about you. Six Lincoln 20, a possible 415 at Martinson Industries. Six Lincoln 20. Roger that, I'll keep you advised. Yeah, what's up? First black and whites here. Hey, then, officer. What can I do for you? We got a 911 call. All right, you guys ready up there? All set. Notice anything strange out of the ordinary? No, can't say that I have. Send a message. This is the main complex? Yeah, yeah, right here. OK, I'll check it out. Thank you. OK. On me. Thanks. You look like a guy with a lot on his mind. That obvious, huh? You run an errand, Gramps. You're gonna go meet the cops outside. Understand? You give them this tape. Take it. 
Then you hurry your little ass back here, Gramps. Oh, guess what? Melba here is gonna be toast. Go. Hey, rookie, don't choke. <laughs> you missed it. You just lost the 10 spot. Not if you're gonna cheat. You can't be a cheater. Arrest me? Yeah, we heard about you. You couldn't cut it as a cop. As of yet, there's been no contact with the people inside. Wait a second. Come on. Mr. McNeil, the plant manager. The guys are serious. They've taken my entire crew hostage. What do they want? I don't know, but if I don't get back, they're going to kill another person. Now, wait a second. No, I, I can't risk it. Now, stay put! All right, it looks as though the terrorists have handed over a cassette tape to the police. I have to assume it's their demands. It doesn't look good for the people inside. Perimeter secured? Yes, sir. Get me the FBI on the double. Yes, sir. You, Commander. you, get rid of the press. Right, now. right away, sir. Get me a cassette player. Right, this is Stein Kruger. As you know, my people are holding hostages, and they're heavily armed. If they see any SWAT, any police within 300 yards, the hostages will pay. You have no alternative but to release me from Atwater State Prison. If I am not at the plant in one hour, my people will start killing hostages. And of course, no one wants to see this happen, do they? Why you were called before the review board, Agent McNeil? What about all the money I gave you? Fuck! You want to die like him? Look at him! Fuck you! I'm not going to prison! Look at this punk! Pete! You disobeyed my direct order. McNeil? I am in the building, McNeil. You will hold your position. You will talk this man out, McNeil. Yes, Supervisor Davis, I did. But we were dealing with a cycle. I couldn't risk it. People's lives were at stake. I made a decision to go in. We will talk him out, but you must wait for me. I'm not going to prison! No fucking way! 
my orders and your partner's dead i'm suspending you till further notice don't bother davis i quit chlorine tanks are full up oh, looks like you don't have to work for us <laughs> you're gonna help us compose a nice little concoction here all right we got a flow rate of eight liters per minute constant temperature of 93 degrees I'll just set the time constants. And voila, we're ready to cook. Where'd you get your training? The state paid for it. All right, now, I want you to mix what's in the barrel with the chlorine. I'm supposed to guess what that is. It's trouble, do it. <laughs> Gramps, you don't do it, someone's gonna die. Oh, you're gonna be John Wayne, is that it? All right. Hope you're aware that mixing anything with chlorine is highly dangerous. Just take care of the flow regulator. We know what we're doing. So now we're going to start with the intermittent cascade of a three centimeter drip. Ruben. This will be the command center. Okay. Commander Simpson? Supervisor Davis, we spoke on the phone. What's the status of Kruger? We'll be here. I've got SWAT ready to roll. Keep SWAT on ice for now. I think we should go in, Supervisor. These people are dangerous. I know, but I don't want a massacre in my hands. Our position is we'll try to talk them out of it if at all possible. What I'd like to know is why they took over a plant that recycles old plastics. I was asking myself the same thing. Maybe Kruger could tell us when he gets here. Gentlemen, your attention, please. We are dealing with an elite group of mercenaries, some of the best in the world. Stein Kruger, serving consecutive life sentences for the murder of eight U.S. servicemen in Subic Bay in the Philippines. Over $20 million in weapons were taken by Kruger and his men, and you can bet they didn't wind up in the hands of the good guys. Kruger has been linked to the people on the board behind me. I believe this is the team that has taken over the plant. They're highly trained, and it won't be easy. Our job is to get them all. Uh, Ruben, where's that list of chemical compounds I asked you for? I'm working on it. Work faster, Ruben. Right. I gotta start going to church. A lot. Double check everything on level two.
Wait, do you read me? Hey, Keysat, what's going on? What's the problem? The pump is slowing down. All right, double the flow rate. We'll pump it up. We're way behind. Roger. Pump it up six centimeters. You're going to get us all killed. Just do it. Odell. I've got an Alec McNeil here. Says he's looking for you. What? Yeah, let him in. You don't want to know. Alex, Davis doesn't want to see you. What the hell's he doing here? Non-personnel are not allowed in this area, Odell. My father's inside. We're doing everything we can. I want to be part of the team. You resigned, McNeil. You're a civilian now. It's not your show. Come on, Alex. I already told you, Kruger is on his way. No, we can sure use you on this one. I'm sorry. So am I. At the complex. Belize, 1987. You had so much to kill, I had to carry you out. Welcome aboard, boss. I'm coming in. Roger. Isolated frequencies, just you and me. Lovely. I want the hostages. Once I'm inside. You know, there's no way I'm going to let you out of there. I finally got that list you requested, sir. It's about time. Let's get to work.
Glad to have you back. I thought you were in Guyana. I was, but uh, Louise wanted to come home. Are you there, Davis? You're probably ready to hear my plan now. Let's get on with it. Getting impatient, Davis? At the foreplay, Kruger. I told you what it would cost you. 30 million in uncut stones. Stones? As in gemstones? Diamonds, Davis. Nothing less than VVS-1. D-color, I presume? That's right, Davis. You catch on quick. Completely untraceable. And then what, Mr. Kruger? Well, you get your hostages, become a hero, I retire, and we all live happily ever after. It's going to take time. Two hours, Davis. The next time we talk, it'll be because you have my diamonds. Well, you sure made his day. <laughs> get on the horn to Hollister's. I want those diamonds immediately. Right. What do I tell them? Whatever it takes. Get those diamonds. Yes, sir. What's your plan? First, we'll trade the hostages for the diamonds. After that, Kruger's got to come out, right? Right. And we'll hit him. Everything we've got. Reuben, where do you think you're going? The bathroom. How are you? Health department, we got a complaint. I gotta call you back. Supervisor, you're not gonna like this. Sir, they, uh, they found his truck. But there's no sign of McNeil. Great. Something with a cow got tanks, that's all I know.
Yeah, I've got it under control, Chief. Kruger is not suicidal. Right. No, we're not dealing with terrorists. Strictly mercenary. Y yes, Your Honor. He's, he's right here. Yes, sir. Can you hold on, please? Thank you. There's nothing political about it. Sir, it's the mayor. Tell him to wait. Uh, no, sir. No, 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 not you. <laughs> Status right. Uh, we're 12 minutes behind, boss. This equipment ain't worth shit. The processing tank is overheating. I'll take care of this myself. Bump it up. You're begging for a major meltdown. I'm telling you, the SEALs won't tolerate the pressure. Yes, they will. The temperature's reset. How's the flow rate? Getting better. If anyone gives you any trouble, kill them. What does Kruger know that we don't? I looked at all the chemicals and uh, nothing on site poses a threat. And why did he choose this place? Sir, here's more info on one of the mercs. This here, this Roy Eckhern, has a master's degree in chemistry. Certainly hope you kept up your grades. Finished with this area? That's correct. When the tanks are ready, set double charges on each. Deacon, prepare the entrance to the tunnels. me through to Supervisor Davis. It's code 93. Yes, sir. Command Center, Agent Rubin. Put Davis on the line. Who's this? McNeil. Hold on. So it's McNeil on line one? You made it in the plant, didn't you? That's right. You just don't learn, McNeil. Sometimes you just have to do what's right. Do you want my help or not? What's the head count on the Mercs? There were 10. Now there's eight. Kruger's doing something with the chemical tanks. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm gonna go in for a closer look. Wait a minute, McNeil. There's no time. You just gotta trust me on this one. I hope you can pull it off. Hands behind your head. Go ahead, try it. It's for you.
Thanks for saving my ass back there. Thank me over dinner sometime, if we ever get out of here. We'll get out of here. Alec, they're processing chlorine with some type of phosphorus base. What does that mean in layman's terms? Look, I read about some kind of nerve gas that they're developing. It could create a lethal cloud halfway to Tijuana. What if I could drain the tanks? That would work. There's an emergency drain system on level one. It runs to the waste dump outside the main complex. Then the mercs would be out of luck. Yeah. The compound they're making is ending up in tank number three. All right. Can you get back to the phone box? Get 911 to patch you through to FBI. Let them know what's going on here. OK. You know how to use that? I think so. I'm sorry. OK. Get going. Good luck. OK, you too. Kruger. We got a problem here. Someone took out Velasco on level three. I copy. Is the rest of the C4 in place? Not yet. Get it done quick. Kruger, I want whoever did this. So do I. Now get moving. Wood. We've got someone inside. Sweep the plant with Jackson. Start on level three. Roger. You think Davis sent somebody in? Not his style. I don't see how we could have missed the hostage. This isn't a hostage. How much time? Ten minutes max. Not a second longer. Processing pump just shut down. Come on, let's go. You're gonna kill us all. Switch to auxiliary now. You're gonna wait till the tank cools out. You've got two minutes to get the auxiliary pump up and running. Hicks, send another hostage to the tanks. Roger. Hey, you. Come here. Attaboy, Gramps. And you know, you still might get that pension. Listen, Bishop's checked out. Don't mind this son of a bitch. I want to know who the hell he is. Right. We're on it, boss. Sweep this level, you sweep the next one. Move it. I found him. Get this fucker, I want him alive. You got it. Oh. 
right, come on. You're coming with me. are you? Telephone repair. FBI. Not anymore. The guy in the truck, right? I'm impressed. I'll be seeing you real soon, Kruger. Tanks are full. Time to rock and roll, boss. Good. Now I'm going to take this son of a bitch out. Everybody go to code six. Keysack, relieve Hicks. Roger. Hicks, meet me at the tanks. Yeah, I got it, boss. Nakata, you hook up with Deacon. Deacon, stay there. I'm on my way. He's not going to be flying a helicopter now, is he? We'll use the old man. He's a chopper pilot. What about the tracers? They're sewn into the lining of the cases, sir. Good. Hicks, Deacon said he went to level three. 
We'll corner him there. They are. Where are the hostages? Come on, out of there. Not too far. I only see nine crew. You'll get the rest when I get safely away. That's not the deal. It's my show, Davis. How do you think you're going to get out of here? Do you know what happens when you process chlorine with DLT? I believe it creates a nerve gas, sir. Good. Now, unless you want to be remembered for solving the population problem in Los Angeles, I suggest you do exactly what I say. We'll be leaving here shortly. The entire plant is wired with explosives, and this is the trigger. If I hit this, we all lose. Don't even think about following. This has a range of a 1,000 miles. If I even see one cop anywhere near me, you'll pay dearly. It will take your bomb squad at least two hours to unravel my handiwork after we leave, and that's all the head start I need. Is that all? Don't you want your hostages? Thank you, gentlemen. Nothing on site poses a threat. They must have brought it with them. I should have known. We both should have known. Put the stones in this. You know it's rigged with tracers. Haven't let me down yet. Deacon should have broken through to the tunnels by now. It's time to lead the FBI on a little joyride. <laughs> Good, I can't wait to get the hell out of here. Bright ideas, Gramps. Call me Gramps again. Enough. I need a helicopter pilot, and you've just been recruited. I'm staying right here. The captain goes down with the ship, is that it? Follow my instructions exactly. Have a 
nice trip. The exit doors in front of you will open automatically in three minutes. Do not remove yourself from the seat until then. through the walls to those old tunnels, just like you said, boss. Davis. We're leaving now. Would you like anything for your trip? Developing a sense of humor this late in the game? Humor the rest of Los Angeles and stay out of my way. We're on the move. Let's go, Parker. Signal. Okay, guys, move in! Bomb squad, move in! Okay, come in. Move it! Now, keep back a safe distance. I'll radio you when the bomb squad deactivates the explosive. Right. I've done my homework, McNeil. Now keep moving.
this is it. Stay in position. Make yourselves comfortable. It's going to be a long trip. Well, sir, the Mercs aren't in the truck. What do you mean they're not in the truck? Well, sir, it was a decoy. Bomb squad just deactivated the C4.
can take our guest out of the sun, the rest of us will handle the chopper. Straight in there. Move it. In. On our way. Minutes we're in Mexico, then on to Brazil. Okay. What took you so long? Didn't catch a cab. <laughs> Let's go. What's going on? We'll check it out, boss. Look, they don't know I'm here. I'm gonna get their attention. Okay. You take this and you go that way. All right. Take care of them. Be careful. Kruger. Go ahead. Deacon's dead. What? Find them. We need the old man. Roger, come on. I split up. I'll take this one. Coming with me. Drop the gun. You're not going to shoot me.
shit about American. You don't let go, do you? I told you I'd be seeing you, Kruger. Who the hell are you? I'm the guy who's taking you back. Why? Because you're not a nice guy. I could use a man like you. How does two million sound? Wanted to make it 20. I guess I'm going to have to kill you then. In a way that makes me feel good. You fuck with the wrong guy. I'm not going back. <laughs> Davis. back. Catch me on a better day, Davis. Let's get that light taken care of. We still going trout fishing? I could use a vacation. I think we all could.
nice to have you back, Kruger. Ha, 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 ha.